How's it going? I'm Chill, and today we'll be taking a look at a gun that may be more controversial than you'd think, the Classic. This weapon can be frustrating to the player using it and the player getting killed by it, usually with a jumping right click. It has some crazy potential and may be even more valuable than any other sidearm, depending on how well you wield it. We're going to find out exactly what makes this gun tick and if you should use it over the other sidearms. Let's jump into it. Before we get into the details of the Classic, let's take a look at the history of this beast of a pistol. In patch 2.0, the Classic received a nice healthy nerf by Riot due to its dominance in the right click department. The viability of spamming right click to net huge damage on pistol rounds was a little too much. In patch 3.0, Riot decided that the accuracy while moving was a bit much as well and reduced walking and running inaccuracy by 0.59 and 0.6 respectfully. The question remains, is the Classic still viable in pistol rounds? Let's find out. You may have glanced at the classic stats in the buy menu at some point, but just as a refresher, we can see its stats here. We mostly care about rate of fire, first shot spread, damage, and penetration when comparing it to other sidearms, and the sidearm that seems to be in direct competition for pick rate on the first round is the Ghost. The classic and the Ghost share the same rate of fire, but very slightly in the other categories. The Ghost has 27 higher headshot damage and 4 body shot damage. The Ghost has a slightly tighter first shot spread of 0.3 compared to the Classic's 0.4, and for penetration, the Ghost has medium and Classic has the lowest. So on paper, yes, the Ghost is indeed a better weapon. But what changes the game is the Classic's dreaded right click. The accuracy surprisingly doesn't decrease much with movement or while being airborne. Let's get a visual for the Classic's rate of fire. At 10 meters, we can see the spread really isn't too bad while spamming. When we look at the damage, again, pretty consistent. If some of you don't know, wall penetration damage can be wildly inconsistent depending on material, weapon, and RNG. The Classic does anywhere from 33 to 45 through a wall. When we look at the right click rate of fire, it goes down but can deal a ton of damage in a single burst. The more you spam, the crazier the spread gets. If you let the recoil recover though, it'll have a much higher chance of landing a few shots. As for damage at this range, when aiming at head level, we can expect anywhere from 156 to 26, but I would argue most of the time the damage will be on the higher end, assuming your crosshair placement is solid. It's worth noting that when aiming at chest level, right clicking appears to be more consistent due to the target area being larger. Headshots can still happen too due to the RNG spread. If we look at right click spam at 20 meters, that's when things get a little dicey. Probably best to left click at this range unless you're enemy is extremely weak. Another technique people have used to get off a little more damage quickly is the left click right click combo. I tried this at chest level but the real potential for a quick kill comes from the initial left click to the head and burst to the body. This can be viable if you're feeling your aim one day. Next we have movement accuracy. We can see here that the spread at 10 meters really isn't bad at all, suggesting that when in a real game it may be best to move around a lot and spam your classic. This works especially well if the enemy team has a gun advantage on you. With right click the spread is even more consistent. I'll I'll say this, if you aren't moving full speed at 10 meters while spamming your classic, you're not using it the right way. Just for show, we can see that moving and shooting at 20 plus meters really isn't the best idea, but like I said, if you have intel that your enemy is one shot, then it may net you a kill. Depends on the situation really. Finally, we have the jumping right click. As you can see, this is what causes people to smash their keyboards and uninstall everything made by Riot. No, but seriously, jumping right click is still very good even after the nerfs to the classic. At 10 meters or closer, you should absolutely jump, strafe, crouch, just make yourself really annoying to hit. Ever wonder how many shots of a classic it takes to kill enemy abilities? Well, here you go. The classic will take about 3-6 to six shots or 2 right click bursts to kill an enemy ability depending on things like range and inaccuracy. Killjoy's turret takes 5 shots to kill at close range, however, most of the time her turret will have have some distance on you. In a real game situation, we can see here that the inaccuracy of the classic comes into play a bit. Sometimes it'll take 5 shots, other times it'll take 8 or 9. Get your teammates to help you in these situations. Her lockdown takes 6 left clicks or 2 right clicks. In this situation, I would definitely recommend right clicking so you don't spend too much time shooting an inanimate object. Now I didn't actually know about this, but Omen's ult takes 1 shot to the head to kill or 2 shots to the body. But you know, when in doubt, aim for the head or right click. Moving on to the boom bot. It may be scary to shoot this with a classic if it's screaming at you while moving full speed at your toes, but it's okay. It only takes 4 shots or 2 bursts. I didn't add her blast pack because it only takes 1 shot to kill, so there you go. Raina's flash takes 4 shots, double right clicking may be more viable if the flash is closer to you. Another 4 shot ability is Sky's dog. I'm not calling it a trailblazer, cause that's stupid. It's a dog. 
four shots or two right clicks. Just for fun, if you happen to be able to shoot her flash out of the sky, pun 100% intended, it'll take three shots. Good luck unless you're tense. That boy doesn't need luck. Sky's cabbage takes six shots. It is cabbage and you can't change my mind. Sova drone, five shots. And finally, Yoru's TP, if you didn't know, yes, you can shoot it. It takes four shots to kill or a left click, right click combo. Now that that's settled, let's talk about some in-game situations. Specifically, what to buy and pistol round if you decide to go with the classic, which you probably should. While playing Killjoy, you can buy your full kit and still have 200 credits left over. That's kind of nice considering how much Killjoy's abilities can slow an enemy push, especially on pistol round. I think the value you get from your abilities on pistol round is huge, especially while using an agent like Killjoy or Cypher. Compared to buying a ghost, you can only buy an alarm bot or one molly. Not as much value out of that combo. Now let's look at some defensive examples on different agent types. First we have a controller agent, Brim. He can buy a smoke, molly, and one stim beacon. I think the stim beacon is still underrated, and on pistol round it could give you a huge advantage in a 1v1 or 2v1 situation. Don't sleep on it. Here's what a defensive round on Haven may look like. Molly the entrance to sight, throw a stim beacon down and rake in the kills. Easy. And we have two smokes for various situations. Next we have a Sentinel, Cypher. Like Killjoy, we can buy our full kit. That's a lot of value and we can use our abilities in some sneaky ways. For example, we can throw a trap wire at the end of A entrance. If an enemy triggers it, we can pop a cage and sneak into it to get a free right click kill and then fall back to sight. A shorty could work here too if you have high confidence an enemy is coming to your site. On to duelists. With Jet, you can buy an updraft and two smokes while still having 250 left over. I think Jet may have the upper hand when it comes to the classic. One of the most annoying but effective combos I've seen Jet players utilize is the dash updraft combo. Not only does it disorient your enemies, but you can utilize the in-air accuracy of the classic's right click to get a fairly easy close range kill. It's pretty insane. Finally, when using an initiator like Sova, we can buy our shot dart and drone while having 250 left over. I would probably stick to long range while playing Sova because he does best while gathering info and allowing his duelists to take the fights first. Still, being able to buy a shock dart and drone can turn the tide of pistol round. But that's going to be it for this one guys. If you learned something, hitting the like button is much appreciated. If you want more weapon guides like this, let me know in the comments. Let me know what topics you'd like me to cover in future videos. Catch me live at twitch.tv slash chill underscore Mickelson and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.